All right, guys, let's check out a brand that I had never heard of. And thankfully, Andy over at Perrin reached out to me because I'm super happy that he did. And hopefully we can check out some other watches. But today we're going to look at the Nira. So I don't know. I get kind of like North Flag vibes to it just be just because of the way the the construction is, it? The, the tiered construction. You got a fully powder or bead blasted case here, like powder finished. And then you have this PVD coated section here, and then you have the brushed finish up top. So it kind of has that vibe to it, but in a smaller package and obviously a totally different case shape. It's not like North Flag shaped or anything like that. It's just the way it's constructed. It kind of gives me that vibe. So uh, we are looking at a 39 millimeter case, 48 and three quarter millimeter lug to lug drilled lugs. You can see the signed screw down crown there, and then you get a good side profile view here of the construction. Um, a little bit thicker, but it is kind of a dive watch, even though it doesn't really have the dive bezel. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, at about 14 millimeter to the double dome sapphire crystal with AR coating. 20 millimeter lug width here and comes on these leather straps. These are both the same watch. They just have different buckle options. So this one on the left, you know, being a, a much larger one, um, I'm not sure that I really have a preference. So I think... It's just nice to have options, you know, if you are given options and you can choose which one works best for you. And a nice oversized seven millimeter crown. You have a display case back showing the Salida SW200. Just kind of a finished rotor. Other than that, it's, you know, just a regular Salida SW200 movement, no frills, but it's kind of cool that you get to see it. I think there would have been room to make this watch a little bit thinner. That would have been kind of nice, but also seeing the automatic movement is nice as well. This should be, yeah, it says right there, 200 meter water depth rating. And it says limited edition, but from what I understand, Perrin does only limited editions essentially. And that kind of gives them a little bit of exclusivity. It's hard to catch the light on this because it, in the camera, it almost looks blue, but to my eyes, it looks like a, a really deep green. Let me move these handsets out of the way here real quick. It has a nice action to it. Of course, you're going to be able to hack and hand wind and all that stuff. Quick date change, all that. Stark white handset, super legible. Nice stark white seconds hand flipping around at 4 hertz. So you got a nice easy way to track that. But if you look at the dial there, you can see the brand, their little logo, Perrin, which is short for perennial. And we'll, we'll get into that a little bit in a second. And then you can see Transylvania. They are a Transylvanian company. And then automatic limited edition. Very clean, well-presented dial on this. And you can see the chapter ring here actually has cutouts for those indices. And they used BGW-9, so it kind of also matches the white-trimmed handset and date wheel. The date wheel is also color matched to the dial. And I'm having a difficult time catching the color on this, guys. I'm sorry. But it is a really beautiful, not quite British green, like British racing green. It's, it has a little bit more tone to it than that. It's a, it's a really good looking dial. And then there's a close-up of the PVD coated bezel, screw down crown, and again, the case back. So the bezel is 120 click, So, but pretty much a fidget spinner. Because um, even these markers on the outside, they do differ from one another, but it would be difficult to time something with them because you don't have um, absolute knowledge of which one's which, So unless you were to mark it or something like that. So nice little fidget spinner, but it's you know just kind of a cool design, so I'm not going to give it a knock on that. Because they do have dive watches too, so I'm hoping later on that Andy, after I get these videos or this video done, and I'm going to move one of these watches is meant to go to in my discord group there's actually a bunch of other youtube channels so i'm going to kind of send it on its path and all those guys will get to see it too and do their own videos and then one of these watches was given to me by andy over at Perrin to keep so um, i'm not sure yet what i'm going to do with it but i have some ideas um we talked about oh another really big thing these are hand assembled by a certified watchmaker in Switzerland. So the quality control is going to be elevated for sure when you have that type of situation. And I did a closer look with this, you know, not with a loop, but with my um, 
overpowered reading glasses that I use for pretty much all of my watch videos and checking them out up close. There's no flaws with these. These things are like, they're sorted. They're, you can tell that whoever assembled it actually cares about their job and they did a good job because there's no discrepancies with these at all. Price on these, it's listed in um, CHF uh, 488. Uh, the conversion on that is, for U.S. dollars is like $540, something right in there. If I can somehow get a discount code or something from Andy, I will. I'll put it in the description. Uh, but if not, I don't, I don't know what his um, uh, feelings are on that. So I'll talk to him a little bit on that. But check out the uh, box. is nice and simple. You know, they with the brand name, you know, it's Perrin, short for perennial. Um, you know, basically they're... They're trying to be sustainable, you know, environmentally friendly, and uh, the packaging kind of shows that. Uh, there's their kind of um, company uh, mantra there, Transylvania, and then basically the watch just goes underneath this and it lays flat on the box. So nice, simple presentation on that for sure. So let me pop this on the wrist real quick, and then we can do the loom shot, the all-important loom shot. Now the leather definitely needs to be broken in on this. It's a little stiffer than I prefer. But there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. I think that separation with that black, much like I said, like the uh, Tudor North Flag does, it just gives it so much more character to the case and everything. It gives you some visual interest for sure. So let's kill the lights and check the loom on this guy. Should be a nice, cool blue loom with that BGW9. And all right, it's there's not a ton of loom there. I got to be honest with you guys. It's it's not like uh, dive watch crazy boom loom in your face, but. There is loom there, and BGW and I last a decent amount of time. So let me know what you guys think on this one, and hopefully, like I said, I can get uh, some more watches from the brand. I'm very interested. So check out their website. I'll put a link down below. I'll see you guys on the next vid.